Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will be talking about the AI code writing assistant for Pandas. I hope you are using Pandas for doing data analysis. And what if we can use AI as an assistant when we write the code as we go? The main question can be why it is needed. Let's say that you have data and getting insights from the data can be challenging because the main part is doing the EDA part and getting insights out of the data. Wouldn't it be great if we can just ask the questions and get insights into the data set while we are coding? Let's go through this, how we can achieve that. There is a Python package called Sketch that does exactly for us. There might be many ways because the language model has been evolving these days. And this is one of the Python package that uses language model behind the scene. So let's go and see what is this sketch Python package. Let's click here. It takes you to the GitHub page. And here it says that it is an AI code writing assistant that understands data content. And the simple way is to install the sketch package. And what can we do out of it? It says data cataloging general tagging PII identification. Here the PII stands for personally identifiable information. That is the personal information. Let's say that if there is some personal information in your data set or not. And also we can you go with the metadata generation and there is the data engineering part like data cleaning and masking as well as derived feature creation and extraction. So we can create new features out of the existing data also and data analysis, which is the data questions and data visualizations. We can ask the sketch and it gives us the code to do all of these things. So let's see how it works. Let's get back to our notebook and let's install the package first. So here I'm saying pip install sketch dash q. So dash q, it installs the package, but it keeps quiet. So let's install the package. So it's installed now and it didn't show anything on the notebook itself. That means that it's quiet. Now let's import the libraries. Let's first import the C bone because I'm going to use the data set which is present in the C bone library. Let's import sketch and then let's import the pandas because sketch runs on top of pandas. So let's import this. So before going through the implementation, let's see what datasets are in the C1 package. So for that, you can just type sns.get dataset names. And you see that there are many datasets already present in the C1 library. So we don't need to extract data from, from certain websites also. And out of this dataset, I'm going to use the Titanic dataset for this demo. So let's load the Titanic dataset. And there is the load dataset method in build of SNS C1 and we can pass the name of the dataset. Let's load the data and read the top five rows. You can see that this is the data and we can also say data.info to see what it is. There are 891 entries, 15 columns and which are integer, which are float and which are object and so on. And now let's see how sketch plays into action. We have the data. We loaded the data into Pandas data frame. As you can see, when we load the data with SNS, it's by default loaded as a Pandas data frame. And we can confirm it from here that it is the Pandas data frame. What, uh, before going through the implementation, let's see what are the modules that are present in the sketch library. So we can type dir and then data dot sketch. So let's see. So the sketch always comes up the data. So if you just work with data, then that is pandas data frame. If you provide data dot sketch, and then the sketch plays into action. Just let's filter out the special methods only. And let's run this. Okay, so there are apply, ask, and how to inbuilt methods of sketch. In this video, we will be going to ask and how do because for, for apply, we need to have the open AI API key. 
So let's not go into that for now. Let's just use the ask and how to method in this video. As it says, ask is the basic question and answer system on a sketch. So we can ask something for a sketch and it, it gives the output. So let's see how it works. Let's say that I want to ask data.sketch. As I said before, we need to provide the data set dot sketch and the method that we want to ask. What is the average age? We have the data here, right? Let's print the data just above this. It's easier for us. Let's say data dot head. So we have the data here. So we, we want to know what is the average age. We need to write the code to do that. Let's ask sketch if it helps us because it is the AI assistant eventually. If we provide data dot sketch ask what is the average age? It says that the average age is 29.7 years. It takes the data and it computes behind the scene. How does it work? Let's go to the sketch package and all the way on the last it says sketch uses efficient approximation algorithms, data sketches to quickly summarize your data and feed that information into the language model. Right now, it does this by summarizing the columns and writing this summary statistics as additional context to be used by the code writing prompt. So this is how it is doing behind the scenes. So now let's also say what is the average age of the male and female. It will see you the, the average age of the male is this and the average age of the female is 27.9. So this is really good that without writing the code, by just asking the questions as we do for the language model, it is giving us the answer. So it is, uh, it is helping us, like it is working as an assistant to us. So let's also ask which P class is the expensive one, right? So let's do shift enter. It will show the most expensive class is first with a median fare of 31. Here it goes with the fare also. And it says that, okay, the median fare is 31. Now let's say that if we have any PII information in this data set, let's just ask that, okay, is there any PII information in this data set? No, there is no personally identifiable information in this data set. The data includes column such as index, survived, P class, X, age, and all the columns. None of these columns contain any PII information. So we know that, okay, in our data, we don't have any PII information. If we had the PII information, we should mask those or there are many methods to deal with the PII data. But for this data set, we don't have any of those columns. So we don't need to deal with those. So this is really good just by asking the questions. It's giving us the answer. So it's, it's easier for analyzing the data. Now let's use the how to method. So now this is the method where it gives us the code to do based on our a prompt or query. So now let's go through this. Let's look the data again. Okay, the data is here. Let's say that data dot sketch how to plot the distribution of age. Let's say that we want to see the distribution of the age column. We can just provide shift enter. And now it gives us the code. I don't know, this copy command is not working for me right now, but I can just copy from here and then paste the code. And then if I press shift enter, here is the plot for us. So we know now that this is the distribution of the age. And similarly, we can say how to plot the missing values C bond heat map. So we want to plot the missing values of the data using the C1 library and using the heat map. So it is giving us the code here. Let's copy the code. Control C. To, to put the new shell after this, you can type escape and B in the keyboard. It provides the new shell. We can paste shift enter to run the shell. And then we can see here that there is the age column and the deck which has the missing. Use. It's really good, right? Just asking AI assistant, it provides also the code so we can just test it 
when we ask the questions. Now let's say that we want to create new features from the age column. In data analysis, there might be some certain columns, but then you need to create new columns or you can create new columns so that the model can get good insights into the data. Let's ask the sketch, can you provide two features from the age column? Let's see if what kind of features it will give us. Now it's analyzing the data and it gives us the code. Uh, let's see what it gives us. Control C and then we can paste below and then we can run the code. So here it, it gives us the information like data age group. It is taking the age and putting it into different bins and then child, adult and senior. And similarly, it is also doing with the age range. So it is putting into the beans and then labeling at 0 to 10, 10 to 12. Let's see what that created behind the scene. Let's also go with data.head. And now let's go with the newly created data. So it says age group is adult, 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 because we have the age which is more than some some limit that is that we have provided here and also the age range it provides 21 to 30 range so this is 22 and similarly here is 35 it is giving 31 to 40 range this is just the new features that is created we may use or we may not use but it's really good to have insights into the data and create new features out of the existing features and now we already know that there are some missing values and we can even say remove the missing values. How to remove the missing values? But we don't want to drop all the values and we can even say, okay, how can we impute the missing values? Impute meaning that how can we replace the missing values? Now we can ask, okay, there are some missing values. What we can do is impute the missing values here. So impute the missing values for integer columns. So if we pass this, how to impute. So it will give us the code how to impute the missing values. So it says if it is int 64 or, or we can just say integer or int float columns. So if we pass this again, it, go, it gives us, okay, integer and float and it imputes with the mean of that particular column. So we can copy this. Let's create a new shell below and control V, paste, and let's run this code. So for call in data.select data types, we replace the missing values. Now let's see if we have any missing values. We can just copy this code. Let's go down here, create a new shell below, Control V, paste, shift, enter. So now the integer, the age, we have the age here. So that is now being replaced by the mean of that particular column. This is the, there is still the missing values for this one because this is the categorical columns and we are not dealing with the categorical columns right now. The ISCAS library looks very promising for integrating the power of AI with the Jupyter notebooks or any IDE you prefer. So yeah, this is just a short video I want to create so that you also can utilize it for data analysis purpose. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.